asset minus liability you will get your capital clear now we'll go for the second type of your problem this is also your five mark question in the accounting we have few topics like the first topic will be your complete basic concept your agenda will be very simple miscellaneous topics your this session will be very shorter Hello everyone. This is your other sir. Lecturing with you from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the last session of your topic called Accounting Basics. Now, in the accounting, we have few topics. Like the first topic will be your complete basic concept. Like what is accounting and its goals, its objectives, features, and everything. Then we came to your second part. That will be your accounting concept as well as conventions now the next part will be your journal entries we done with your journal entries fourth part it is nothing but your miscellaneous what do you mean by miscellaneous miscellaneous means we will learn small small topics so these are not much important for your examination but five mark questions you can expect on this your five mark questions maybe come on these topics your agenda will be very simple miscellaneous topics your this session will be very shorter but you will understand many concepts now so your first thing will be missing figure so you will not quiz or nothing this is your five mark so one or twice they have asked you have to find out the missing figure now how to find out if you have a commerce background in your first year puc maybe you have done this missing figure now in this very simple you have asset capital liability asset capital liability and asset capital liability how to find out now i'll give you logic first one if you want capital if you want capital the answer is very simple you have asset also you have capital also now asset minus liability asset minus liability you will get your capital clear we'll go for second one in this you want asset so asset amount is missing then capital plus liability capital plus liability you will get answer and the last one liability amount is missing how to find out third one liability liability is equal to so asset minus capital is your liability asset minus capital is your liability except your asset for everything it is subtraction only clear these are your formulas to find out your capital your asset as well as your liability now how to find out first one capital is missing but we have information about asset as well as liability now asset you have 2 lakh minus capital you have 90000 2 lakh minus 90000 your answer will be 1 lakh 10000 any doubt so 2 lakh minus 90000 your answer is 1 lakh 10000 now your capital is 1 lakh 10000 clear easiest thing if you get problems like this it will be bonus for you next you have capital you have liability you have to find out asset what is your capital 90000 what is your liability 75000 90 plus 75 it will be 1 lakh 65000 clear any doubt no doubt so your answer is how much 1 lakh 65000 and your last one 
you have asset, you have capital, but liability you don't know. How to find out in this? So your asset is 3 lakh, capital is 1 lakh 20. Asset is 3 lakh and your capital is 1 lakh 20,000. 3 lakh minus 1 lakh 20, it will be 1 lakh 80,000. Any doubt up to this? Up to this, there is no doubt. You got answer of 1 lakh 80. Your answer must be, you got answer of your capital, answer of your asset, and answer of your liability. This is all about the missing figure in your balance sheet. Any doubt? No doubt. You may expect for five marks. Clear? Yes. We'll go for next one. I'll do only one problem because if you do 100 problems also, the concept is this much only. Remember these formulas so that it is easy to understand. If you want, you can take screenshot. Now we'll go for the second type of your problem. This is also your five mark question. Now, very simple. I'll do this and I'll give you the homework also. How? I'll tell you. Now, classify the following amount into asset, liability, capital, income and expenses. In this, income and expenditure for you it is easy. Why? Because if you are paying, there is expenses. If you are receiving, it will be income. But understanding what is liability, what is asset, it will be little difficult for you. It is not difficult for you. It is a new thing. I'll explain you that. Now, Anything you are paying, that will be your expenses. Anything you are receiving, that will be your income. That is easy, yes. What will be your asset and what will be your liability? Anything which you are benefited further, that is called asset. Again, I'll repeat, anything which you are benefited further, we call it as asset. Like, I'll give you best example, cash. It is a benefit asset. Furniture, is there any benefit from furniture? Yes, it is an asset. Your properties, is there any benefit in the future? Yes, that is an asset. Datas, datas means you have to collect from customer. So you will be benefit from customer, asset. Now, bills receivable, you are receiving, asset. Your computer, you will be benefited, asset. Your motor car, asset. Your bike, asset. Your mobile, asset. These are called as asset. Why? Because you will be benefited out of this. Keep it in this mind. If you are benefited out of these things, we call it as asset. Now, what are liabilities like loans? Loan means you will be sad that you have to pay loan. You have to pay your, even though you have taken money, but you have to repay that. That is liability. Bank overdraft, like your credit card. You have used, but later you have to repay credit card. Credit hours, you have purchased, you have not yet paid. For you, it is not benefit. You have to pay for them. Liability. Your share capital, it is a liability. It comes under capital. Clear. Your debentures, liability. Hope you understood. So these are, we call it as liability. Hope you understood. Which are benefited in further is called as asset which you are supposed to pay, that is called liability. Other than these two, rest of the things are capital. Clear? Yes. Now we'll go for one by one. I'll tell you what will be your homework also. Now, cash, you will be benefited, so we call it as asset. Purchases, when you purchase goods, you will pay money or you will receive money? You will pay, so it is nothing but your payment are expenses. Next, building. Building means asset. For you, it is a benefit. Sales. When you sales, when you did sales, you will collect money from customer. So it is a receipt. So income. Bank account, your asset. Computer asset. Capital, it is capital itself. Salary, it is an expenditure. 
don't think that you are receiving salary. If they are not mentioned anything means you are paying salary. Why? Because we are doing for any business purpose. Now, interest received, it is income. So creditors, remember liability. So rent paid expenses. So your last one, that is drawing. Drawings, we call it as capital. Why it is capital? Means capital means what? Investment. Whatever you have invested, if you take it out, means that will be your capital you are taking back. That is nothing but drawings comes under capital. Always drawing has to be deducted from your capital. Clear? Now, once again, I'll repeat. Asset, purchases, expenses, building asset, sales, income, bank loan, Bank loan is a liability. It is liability. Bank loan is liability. Now, so I thought it is computer. So computer is an asset. Then capital is capital. Salary expenses. Interest received is income. Creditors liability. Rent paid. It is expenses. Drawing is also called as capital clear remember so bank loan it is not asset bank loan is a liability just now i explained you anything which is loan you have to repay or pay further it is always liability now so these are the informations you are supposed to write but what will be your homework your homework is very simple this will be your format now Asset, liability, capital, income, expenditure. In your book, you have to write on this. Now, cash, it is asset means, in the asset, you should write cash. Now, second one, purchases, expenses means, in the expenses, you should write purchase. Then, building is asset means, in the asset side, you should write building. Then, your sales is income. Then you should write it under income, sales. Clear? This will be your homework. So, whatever it is there. So, in your examination, the presentation must be like this. This will be your homework. Clear? Easy or very easy? Very easy. We'll go for next one. Now, classify. So before that, if you want to take screenshot, you can take. So you can take a screenshot of this. Now, the last problem of this session, classify the following accounts into asset, liability, income, and expenditure. So before I say, try to solve yourself. So whether it is asset or liability or income or expenditure or capital. Now, building. It is asset. Capital. Capital comes under capital. Computer comes under asset. Salary comes under expenditure. Bank loan comes under liability. Your sales comes under income. Machinery comes under asset. So once I done with this, I'll go that side so that you can see this. Purchases comes under your payment. RS expenditure or expenses. Rent expenses. Creditors liability. Commission receivable, anything which is receivable, always asset. Drawings, as I told you, this is capital. Clear? So now, again, I'll repeat. So building is asset. Capital is capital itself. Computer is asset. Salary is expenditure. Bank loan is liability. Sales comes under income. Why? Because if you do sales, you will collect money. Next, machinery is asset. Then purchases comes under expenditure. 
rent comes under expenditure, creditors is a liability, commission receivable is asset, drawings is capital. Clear? If commission is payable, then what will happen? Liability. Anything which is payable is liability, anything which is receivable is asset. Then what will be your homework? Same to same. In this, you have to fill everything clear. Yes, if you want, you can take screenshot. So this is all about your today's session. We are done with your most of the topics in your chapter one. So in the next session, we'll come up with new concept as well as new topic. Thank you.